guys, it's me, Allie. How are you? As always, I hope that you're all having a wonderful start to your day. I am here today to do not one, but two subscription unboxings because I'm just obsessed. And today I am doing the Orange Glad for April as well as the Love with Food for April. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with either of these subscriptions, I will link their websites below so you can check them out and kind of peruse their websites. All you really need to know is Love with Food is $10 a month. You get anywhere between 8 to 12 sample size items each month and every time you buy a box, they donate a meal to a child or a family in need. This is top 5 favorite subscriptions for me. It's amazing. It's such a good bang for your buck. Orange Glad, on the other hand, is a really awesome subscri subscription service, but I don't subscribe to them because they're a little pricey. Sometimes I like to just spoil myself and buy myself the box, so I just bought the one-time only box for April because I like to spoil myself. It's like $25, you don't get free shipping, and you only get about five bakery items a month. It's so pricey because they're all from artisanal bakeries from all over the United States, so it's a little pricey, so I don't subscribe to this one, but... I do like my bakery items. So let's get right into the unboxings. If you have any questions at all, just make sure to ask them below and I'll do my very best to answer them as soon as possible. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start with Love With Food and Love With Food always gives you a little pamphlet inside and this month is going along with Flower Power. Now seriously, how cute is their little pamphlets? I love their artists who makes these. They're always so popping and I just, I love them. On the back, they give you a list of everything that you're going to get inside of the box. So let's dig in. The first thing that I see is Hard Tea. Hard Tea. And this is just a little tea packet. 100% pure hibiscus herbal. I love hibiscus tea. I love the Starbucks, Starbucks hibiscus tea. So this will be fun. And then the next thing that I see is Melly. I don't even know how to say these words. They're not in English. But yeah, it looks like a little waffle. And I like my waffles. But this is Melly, and literally nothing is in English. But oh well. It looks like a honey waffle. So far, so good. Okay, the next thing that I see is Gluten-Free Bumble Bar. This is Organic Energy Bar Amazing Almond. It's cute packaging. And this is Buy a Bar, Help Build a School. Every Bumble Bar directly aids in the community development and construction of a school in Ethiopia. As most of you know, I'm a teacher, so anything that helps aid in schools or building schools or helping children out, I absolutely love. So I already like this product a lot. <laughs> it's really cute packaging. And then the next thing that I see is Vintage B. This is creamed honey with chocolate mint. I've never heard of something like that before. I've never heard of a creamed honey before, but I don't know if you would just eat this the way it is or you would put this in like a tea or something. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but hey, it's worth a shot. I might do a little bit of research on this one. By the way, I am leaving for my Florida trip this week, so I just went spray tanning for the first time ever. So if I look a little darker, that's probably why. I had a really good experience with it. So I'm hoping to just be getting darker by the second, darker by the second, darker by the second. So that's why I might look a little darker in this video than previous videos. But let's move on. The next thing that I see is Sahel Snacks. This is glazed nuts, almonds with cranberries, honey, and sea salt. All natural, no trans fats, and gluten-free. They have sent us these before and they are freaking amazing. I love these. So no complaints here. I've ate these before. I like putting these in my yogurt. They're really, really good if you put them in your yogurt as like a little topper. I know some people use these in cereal or just eat them on the go. And these are really good. So these are the Sahel Snacks and Almonds. And then they also sent us Fior di Frutta Organic Fruit Spread Strawberries and Wild Strawberries. And this is a sweetened with apple juice fruit spread. That's kind of cool. I've never tried something like that before. And it just shows you the little fields where the strawberries are picked and grown. So that's fun. I'm pretty pumped on this box already. It's pretty good. So the next thing that I see is popcorn from Old England with a kiss. This is cane juice and sea salt kettle corn kissed with anise. And this is by Crave Cannon. Ooh. Another thing is I will be on a plane soon and I'm going to have so many awesome snacks to just bring with me to snack on and to bring into the hotel. These are all natural, 100% whole grain, zero trans fats, non-GMO, and they're corn. Obviously, they're corn. That's kind of stupid. And this whole bag is 130 calories, so I've never tried this before, but hey, going to have some popcorn. And the last thing that they put in the bag is Orchard Blend Crunch Dried Fruit, and this is Sensible Food. All natural, 70 calories, kosher, gluten-free, and kids love it. And this is 
100% fruit and nothing else. I can't tell if this is just apples or apples and peaches, but this is award-winning snack, real fruit, fat-free, gluten-free, kosher-free, kosher certified, no preservatives of any kind, crunchy, sweet, and delicious. Cool. This was a really good box. So that was everything that came in the box. I think we got like eight items this time, and they were really good. I actually, well, I haven't tried any, but they all seem really fun. Um, nothing that was kind of weird. They also gave us some coupons. Actually, they gave us a little contest. If you tag your box with Love With Foods Instagram, you can win a prize, whatever. They gave you a dollar off the Sahel, Sahel snacks, which I love, so that's awesome. I think they sell these at Whole Foods, so nice. And they also gave us a hearty... Oh, just how to brew it. It's just directions on how to brew it. If you want to make the wild hibiscus iced tea. So, nice. I like this box a lot. It was really fun. Okay, so let's move right on to the Orange Glad Sweet Box. Now, one thing about Orange Glad is there are a lot of perishable items in here. And usually when it um, comes to your doorstep, they usually leave a note for the mailman or the FedEx or UPS or whoever is dropping it off, the delivery man or woman to keep in a cool place so it's not in the sun. And also, when you open it up, they usually give you, yeah, they give you a little list of everything that's on here, but they also tell you, please enjoy the snack in the next two days, please enjoy the snack within the next week, because like I said, it are bakery items, so they will go bad. So I kind of enjoy that they tell you, like, keep refrigerated, eat within the week, or it will go bad, etc. So this is Life is Sweet with Orange Glad. That's so cute. So this is what it looks like when you open it up. Oh, it looks like some of my stuff is damaged. All right, so the first thing is a red velvet Wicked Whoopie Pie. This is a huge Whoopie Pie. This is 360 calories for half of the cake. But I don't care because it's good. So this is red velvet Wicked Whoopie. I actually have heard of this brand before, I think, unless there's one that looks very similar to this. But, you know, it's just your, your average whoopie pie, red velvet cake on both sides, and it's filled with a, I don't know if it's a cream cheese filling or just a, like, buttercream filling, but this is like a brick. It is huge. First thing. <laughs> so the next thing I'm pulling out, I am going to love, and this is the orangeglad.com, handpicked by the Orange Glad team, Sweet Box, a monthly subscription of baked goods and confections, and it is... Just little mini chocolate chip muffins. I love, I don't know if they're Little Debbie or if they're, um, I don't remember the name. If you know the name, leave it below. But I think they're the Little Debbies and they give you the little mini muffins and they're so good. So this looks like the little mini muffins and they're my favorite chocolate chip. And it looks like this was left out a little bit in the hot because it's a little melty all over. But it's all going to the same place so I'm just going to devour these. So the next thing looks like the sun got the best of it as well, and it is the Truffle Cake Company, and it is just two little truffles, but if you look closely, they're kind of just all melty and schmelted in this little bag. So pretty much sun three right now, orange glad zero, but you know what? I'm sure it tastes delicious anyways. And you get two little gourmet truffles, and I don't know what kind they are. It is... It's just sinful red velvet truffle cake with peanut butter paradise. It's kind of cool. So they're just a little like squishy and smushy, but they're cute. Mmm. Ooh, these are like cake pops, not even truffles. Oh, it's good. That's really good. I actually like those. I'm not a huge fan of truffles, and those taste a lot like a cake pop to me. Those are actually delicious oh my goodness yeah wow that was incredible way to go truffle company so the last two things that are in the box are from the same company and they are from Greystone Bakery and we are getting two little brownies we are getting a walnut fudge brownie and we are getting a brown sugar blondie which um yeah that's cool they're pretty thick too and these are the only two items in the box that don't look like the sun got the best of them. They look pretty much intact still. And that's it. That's everything that came in the two boxes. I have to say my verdict is that I am really impressed with these two boxes. Like I said, I haven't really ate any of the things yet except for the truffle, which was delicious. But if everything tastes as good as it looks, then I'm sure these two boxes are going to be home runs. Especially Love With Food, $10 a month. 
Orange Glad, $25 a month. Two prices for me. If they would lower their prices or they would add free shipping into the mix, I would definitely consider um, subscribing to them. But $25 for five items, that's like $5 an item. And I'll tell you right now, two truffles is not worth $5, however delicious they were. So that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you thought about the boxes. Did you like them? Did you not like them? Thumbs up if you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my videos, make sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys after Florida when I come back. So I hope that everybody has a great week. I love you guys so much. Thank you for making this so much fun for me. And I will see you all soon. Bye.